Welcome back, you guys, to Let's Play Danganronpa V3 in the last episode. Uh, I'm a little pissed and a little... But I'm also a little bit happy, in a way, I guess you can say. Very interesting thing has happened. Uh, Kurekio got executed for murdering both Angie and uh, Tenko. So now we're all kind of weirded out because things are weird. Even now, he still talks about raising the dead. Man, this is stupid. But what, the, but what people believe in is up to them, but living people shouldn't have to suffer because of the dead. The living are more precious than the dead, no matter what. That's not something a coward like you should say. Shut up. Leave me alone. But there's one thing in this case that ki this case taught me. I thought there was a god watching over us, but there isn't after all. Not in this academy. Yeah, you're right. Well, that's why we have to work together, right? Face it together. Our ultimate talents have the best are the best weapons we have. Then Gonto do his best to protect ev to keep everyone safe. Gonto want to protect everyone. But your talent is entomology. I don't want Shuichi to use his ultimate talent anymore. I'm getting sick of class trials. Uh, yeah, you're right. For a second, I was almost offended, but then I'm like, yeah, she's absolutely correct. <laughs> Hey, your talent as an assassin is way more trouble. When are you going to start using that, huh? I'll work hard until everyone trusts my ultimate talent. Huh? It may not be possible now, but I'll put I'll put in the effort so everyone can trust me. I I won't run away anymore. I want everyone to survive and escape this place with them. I want to survive and escape this place with everyone. I can't speak. My mind is in jumbles. <sighs> Maki. <laughs> I see. I wonder how long that'll last. What if your true calling is a killer shows? Don't underestimate her. Maki rolls one of my sidekicks. I don't remember being your sidekick. Also, didn't I tell you to stop calling me Maki roll? Ooh, you guys are close now. This must be the ba powerful bond of friendship. But I would have preferred it to happen sooner, especially not after losing seven people. You're right. Only nine people left now. Well, what do you know? That dumb, ki that dumbass can do basic math. That's right. Seven pieces of shit have been flushed away, only nine to remain. By that calculation, doesn't that make you one of the pieces? <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. One. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Just nine of us. Humans are like weeds. Too numerous to count. Seven of us dead doesn't mean much in the end. That's totally what the heartless robot is thinking, right? Right? No, I'm not thinking that. Your blatant your blatant robophobia is simply inexcusable. <laughs> but hey, none of us give up, right? We are all going to escape. I'm not going to rely on God, dead, spirits, or the dead. Just you guys. I believe in all of you. Kaito. You're right. Those of us who remain can start over. Hold up, Kib Kibo needs to apologize to everyone for the whole student council thing. And there's only one kind of apology that I'm willing to accept. Yank your head off and smash into the ground with all your strength. Got that? I've never heard of such an intense form of apology. Aw, why are you hurting the robot? <laughs> Seems like everything is settled for now. Even though we're missing her. Oh, girlfriend. <laughs> Himiko, you okay? Anything Gonta can do to help? You can tell Gonta. I think we should let her have some space for now. That might be best for her. I remember how I felt. Oh, gone to understand. Uh. God, Himiko is such a liar. Oh my god, you are not doing this! Huh? Personally, I don't think lies are exactly a bad thing. Let's face it, you wouldn't have any free will if the world was just compromised with the truth. But even then, I don't think it's good to lie to yourself, you know? Uh, no, don't make my girl sad! What are you saying? Think about Himiko's feelings a little bit. I owe 
only said this because I just thought about it. Himiko's been lying to herself about her own feelings, so she's been holding back. Now what are you repressing? Why are you trying so hard to hold back? What? Hold back? Uh... Oh no! Oh no! Expressing your feelings is pretty natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. So if you feel like crying while you're out trying to talk to Angie, go ahead and cry your eyes out. You'll feel better when you do. I mean, laughing makes you feel better too. And venting your anger can sometimes re can be on can onto something can really cheer you up. Train your heart out by crying, laughing, and venting your anger, Himiko. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no! wouldn't happen in the trial. <laughs> he may go. Damn it. Uh, he may go cried for a long time. Ow. That actually really kind of hurts a lot. She cried as if she was releasing all the emotion she had bottled up inside. Before we knew it, as if lured by her doing so, we began crying. Oh! No! No! I can't even do it. I'm actually really hurt. I'm sad. Tears we shed. I can't even describe it. We were crying about what we had been through and what was to come. Sadness, hatred, frustration, discord, anger, love. Tears filled with emotion. But at the very least, they weren't tears of submission. They were tears to push us forward. Oh. It's been a few days, and I remember how miserable I feel, and I felt now. After a while, Himiko finally calmed down. However, she fell asleep. Oh. She cried. Us. She cr she hard to carry, Ganta? No, she fine. She's sleeping very peacefully. She's all tuckered out after crying. Robots sleep well after leaking their oils too, right? I have told you many times that I do not use oil as my fuel source. But wow, she really surprised me. She passed out as soon as she stopped crying. Yeah, but she looks peaceful sleeping like that. She probably felt better after letting it all out, don't you think? Yeah, I hope so. Then, gone to carry Himiko to her room. <laughs> Make sure you force her to get on your- It's really good on your back, you hear me? You need a little more focus if you want to feel her little mosquito bites poking you. There's no way you'd do such a thing! Gonta's a gentleman, after all! What the fuck? <laughs> when we headed back to the dorms, I suddenly noticed. Kaito had stopped in his tracks. Ugh. Kaito, what's wrong? Oh, oh, nothing. I just wanted to get some night there. Don't worry about me. Go on ahead. Go on ahead. Uh, you sure? Anyways, don't do something like that again, okay? If you dislike scary things, then we should. You should have said so earlier. I thought you were sick. <laughs> you worried about me? You yeah, worried about your stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> Still haven't warmed up though, Mia. Maybe not, but I feel the, like the walls had come down a little, you know? Perhaps those walls were her enemies. Seems like she doesn't want to wait anymore. Hmm, because of me. Yeah, maybe. You should, you, but you sound like you're bragging, Kaito. <laughs> but like I said, I'm gonna go get some air before I go back. You go on ahead. Sure. Oh, excuse me. Got it. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Kaito! 
After our goodbyes, I returned to my dorm room. I didn't notice what was going on with Kaito. Oh no! <coughs> Does he have tuberculosis or something? No! D damn it. I don't have time to be dying. I still haven't gone to space yet. Damn it. No way am I going to die here. No way. I don't want you to die! That would make me cry my eyes out if he dies. Transfer student beyond the grave. So much sad face. I don't like all my friends dying. This whole friend dying thing's sad. Mysterious mask? <laughs> Gimp mask. Fuck yeah. Ugh. You want to save? Yes, we will save. We'll save again. Yes. But yeah, uh, welcome back again, guys, to Let's Play Danganronpa V3. It's 11 minutes into the episode, but I didn't really get a chance to really welcome you back. I'm trying really freaking hard, because who knows what can happen in the future. I kind of want to get this groove on. I want to finish this game soon. I I'm really enjoying this. A few days ago. Hey, I guess I didn't have to introduce myself, huh? What? Hi, friend. Oh gosh, I get to do gay voice again. I get that this is probably pretty confusing seeing yourself like this. I guess I should start from the beginning. That the that's the way it is. Now, Monokuma probably told you this, but just in case, this killing game will continue until there are only two people left. Now, the important part of that rule is that. Oh, there's one more thing. Well, the truth is, this isn't your first. What? Anyone who finds out that you are, who you are is going to come for you. So watch your back. Trust no one. And never forget. You wanted this killing game, so you have to win no matter what. No matter what. Rontaro. You died first. Why are you suddenly becoming important? The languid world lit. What? <laughs> I've never seen that word. What does that word mean? Languid, legate, languid. <laughs> Thinking of a really bad Stephen King miniseries. <laughs> the morning after the third class trial. After waking up from Monokuma's announcements, I headed to the dining hall as always. Okay. Significantly less of us now, I bet. Yep, way less of us now. Good morning, everyone. Ah, uh, yeah, good morning. G good morning. Uh, hmm. There's a dark mood in the air of the dining hall today. Yeah, we're kind of missing almost half of us. That's to be expected with what we've been through. Mm-hmm. In a situation like this? <laughs> I don't see how it's possible to stay enthusiastic. Yeah, Daddy was kind of creepy. <laughs> I don't like him anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, with two exceptions. What's wrong, bro? You're not going to eat? If you don't eat, then God will eat instead, Shuichi. He'll eat me? You don't mean... Don't you mean my breakfast? Speaking of Gonta, where is he? I haven't seen him this... I haven't seen him this morning. He's not here yet? He's probably still sleeping. Ugh. Mm. This atmosphere is heavy. Every th everyone's taking in a mental beating. Hey! You guys have no energy. You need to look alive. You're all still teenagers. H Himiko? Your good mornings are too quiet. It's cause you're quiet. It's cause you're so quiet that you're feeling down. Ugh. I didn't mean you should sigh louder. <laughs> Weird. I thought you'd be the most depressed out of all of us. Of course. I'm depressed. 
This is the most depressed I've been in all my 200 million years. Yeah, I, I don't know how to make this work. <laughs> it's like, am I supposed to be talking less lazy now? I don't know. I'm just gonna go with it. 200 million years? But being depressed won't help those who died rest in peace. Tanko and Angie, too. If I stay depressed, they won't be able to rest in peace either. Oh. So in order to make their deaths have meaning, I've decided to live my life my live my live with po live my life with positivity. They spelled that wrong. I think it's live my life, not live my life. <laughs> so please take care of the new me. Get out the breath already. If you're going to go for if you're going full speed, out right out the gate. But it's just like Himiko said. There are those of us need to look forward to the, look forward to the future and live for the other's sake. <laughs> yeah, let's cheer up and work hard. This game is just getting started. Game? Isn't that what we're talking about? Ugh, but now there's less people. I, I'm. But now that there's less people, I might be the next victim. Wow, so exciting! I, but I definitely don't want to die. Well, I guess it's the same for everyone else. <laughs> You're still staying correct like that at a time, like... Just then the door to the dining hall burst open and... Conta! Hi, baby boy! Everyone, this is serious! Oh no, the colossal high school girl is on the other side of the wall, isn't she? Okay, maybe not that serious, but... Conta went to courtyard before coming here? The graffiti was more added to it. Yeah, more letters added. Oh boy, what's next? This, this, this world. I'm gonna say this world is, and I don't know what the rest says. This world. It does that. Does that mean Kokichi Oma? That's all I can think of, but I'm probably wrong. I, I'm not sure what it's trying to spell. The swords or maybe this world? What about this world? Does that mean, is there some crazy story going on? Does that say this world is mine, Kokichi Oma? Is that what I was getting out of this? That honestly wouldn't surprise me if that's the case, if I'm picking words. I'm pro I might be completely wrong, though. That would actually be really fucking funny. <laughs> It's probably just graffiti, right? We should just ignore it. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Why? Do you want to die? What? Alright, that's just a habit of hers, but my heart skips a beat every time. Yeah, I know, I'm being threatened right now. No one's here to take credit for it, right? But now there's more added to it. it must have some meaning. I'm so serious, none of you wrote it. If this is a prank, you better speak up. But Ganta stumbled onto the writing by coincidence, right? I don't believe you, you little shit. <laughs> if it was a prank, then it would have been done in a more obvious spot, not in the grass. There's nothing more depressing than an unnoticed prank. It's like a titty no one wants to fondle. <laughs> well, it could just be Ganta writing it since he's the first one to find. Ganta never do that. Ganta never make trouble for everyone. God, it's ungentlemanly. What is that writing? I swear to god it says this world is mine, Kokichi Oma. More and more gets added. What is do who's doing it? What does it mean? I hope they're like not alluding to the fact that Oh, Kokichi it's like Kokichi might be the mastermind. Because if that's the case, that's way too obvious. <laughs> and I would not believe that to be real. Well, I don't get it, but maybe it's some kind of clue. Thanks for the report, Ganta. Ganta just glad to help. Maybe. Ganta want to help even little. Tell Ganta if you need help with something, okay? <laughs> okay, got it. I'll let you know if I want you to punch someone. No, you don't get to tell Ganta what to do anymore. Yeah, Ganta learned lesson after insect meet and greet. Ugh, boring. Cookie, you little shit. Oh, oh, my ears are burning. You guys must be talking about me again. You must love me. 
Are you getting dizzy from the face I make when I concentrate real hard? Your face? It's always the same, isn't it? Never mind that. You guys are probably eager for it, right? My prize, that is. Right? You can't live without getting the next prize right now, right? That's what I thought. So I brought a prize. Oh, yeah. Rise and shine or a sign. <laughs> we only got two left. Rise and shine, Nura sign. Huh? What's a Nura sign? Oh, oh my! Forgetting your catchphrase is like the kiss of death for a mascot, you know? Huh? <laughs> Cause I'm a mascot. I get it. It wasn't even a joke. There was no setup, no punchline, no nothing. Uh, by the way, who's this pink stuff pig, and why is she talking to me? What's going on with Monotaro? <laughs> Taro's head is busted. One solid whack would make him remember. That was way more than one solid whack. Ouch. Ugh. Where am I? Where's Kaoru? Ugh. Your character is completely different now. Bonk. Pops, my family, and you, thank you for loving me. Come on, remember already. I'm losing voices, I'm sorry. Dang. I like the, I like the Automat PS for it. Ugh. <laughs> uh. They're so adorably fascinating. I could watch them forever. I know, so can I. <laughs> Honestly, I really appreciate them as mascots. They're very, they give some interesting, like, they give an interesting spice. I do like this. I like them so far. I like them so far. I'm sad to see who's going to die next, though. Which one's it going to be? I've had enough of them. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna give us some of it, loving, too. I want my reward already. When did you get so friendly with Monokuma, Kokichi? <laughs> okay, okay! The prize this time is... Another flashback light? Oh. Paintbrush and a rock. Oh. Ta-da! The legendary Levi Stone and the priceless Octobrush and... A key card to whatever happens... Whichever... Which so happens to be the motive, too! Key card? Motive? can't really. Did you just say motive? Yep, this mysterious key card is your next motive. The classic carrot and stick approach. No one can work a carrot and stick like daddy. Screw your carrot and your stick. Give me whoops and change all the way. My girl. <laughs> a key card is the motive. What does that even mean? So the new area you can open up with the key card. Is that some... Is that where the real motive is? <laughs> That's a secret! Why don't you use it if you're so curious? No, we shouldn't. If you want to prevent another murder from happening... <laughs> Yoink! I'll take the key card then. Kokichi used his little body and took advantage... To, to his advantage and took the key card from Monokuma. But, but That's Monokuma's motive! What if another murder happens? I wouldn't mind at all, you know. What? It's a killing game, and we're supposed to- we're the players, plain and simple. Why wouldn't the player want to play the game? Quit scrolling around and just gave it to us! No thanks! See you later! Oh, you little shit! <laughs> the what? Hey, wait up! Kaito, don't die, please! Kokichi ran out of the dining hall pursued by Kaito. Writing in the halls is normally allowed, but I suppose boys will be boys. Also, I forgot to mention that I've hidden another flashback light somewhere. I wonder what memory she'll uncover next. Happy haunting! Oh my goodness. So long, farewell! Huh? What's so long, farewell mean? You forgot that too? Come on, let's go! What happened to Mono Monotaro? <laughs> what happened? What should we do? Kokichi and Kaito are gone. We cannot leave Kokichi alone with the key card key motive. But aren't you curious about the flashback late too? Perhaps we shall search together and look for Kokichi as well. That's a good idea. But let's look for Kokichi while you while we while you focus on the search. Right now you've got your skills as a, as a, as a detective Shuichi. Wow. My language! Right now we need your skills as a detective Shuichi. Right. In that case, let me hold on to it and I'll look around again. Ah! Shuichi's thrown up. He's so becoming so reliable. 
Now that you're so respectable, I'll let you pet me if you want. Oh, I see. So Shuichi gets that honor. Shuichi is so amazing. Gonto want to be useful to everyone, too. Don't worry. When the time comes, we'll use your body as a meat shield. Okay, Gonto hope, to, hope time comes soon. Oh boy, precious boy. No, you shouldn't hope that. You should hope that doesn't come. <laughs> okay, so where to begin? I'll search the places to use these mysterious items. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> so we've got a stone and a paintbrush. I will assume we got to go upstairs to the artist lab. I want to say. Um, uh, yeah. Hang tight. I ain't gotta look at the mask. Mento Corecchio. It covers the mouth and neck to hide them from view. Oh. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take a walk. But yes. Oh, I went, I got turned around. Alright, uh, I got turned around again. Where am I even going? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, stairs. Oh, my directions are so bad. Ugh. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well recently. And if you've stuck around this far and you've gotten to this episode past the third trial into the fourth, thank you for joining me, friends. I appreciate it. And you get a complimentary pat on the back for being such a wonderful friend. And if you wish to join the bagel army, hello. You get a bagel in return. <laughs> oh, jeez. Welcome to Kellyanne's world where she just says dumb things all the time. <laughs> Yeah, things have been quite interesting lately, though. I'm kind of happy with the way things are rolling right now. For some of you who don't know, and, like, just... I, I guess I should review things that have been happening recently since I... Oh, the creepy music's gone! <gasps> Fantastic. Okay, so there was something over here at this shrine. But yeah, I've been, uh... I've been happy to say that, uh, after quitting my job... I feel like things have been so much more... I, I feel like things have alleviated a lot of pressure on me, so I'm happy now. At least feeling somewhat better. <laughs> Hope you guys are all doing well as well. And if you ever need anything, feel free to ask, because Killian's looking for... Killian's looking for money favors. Angie, you have strange methods, but you rejected the killing game and want us to live in harmony. But if that was, the take that was all taken away for some stupid reason... Never knew you were a Tua, but I will never forget you. Oh, <laughs> can I go in? Nope, okay, nope, nope. I have to just remember that we can't go in there. Fine. Alright. Hanging scroll. Look at the octo brush. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Stairs! Hell yeah. Okay. I wonder what's up here then. A staircase. Seems you can go upstairs from here. The school just gets higher and higher. Fifth floor, huh? How many floors does this school have? I was just about to ask. That's a lot of floors. Fifth floor, and we're already in the fourth chapter. Huh. Right. Whoa. It's like a church. Wow. Neat. Hi, Tsumugi. What's up, girlfriend? This has a completely different feeling from the fourth floor. The door over there could just be plain suspicious. Could it be? Yeah, I did notice. Ultimate cosplayer lab, huh? Let's go in. Looks like an ultimate lab. I should check inside. All right, what kind of in jokes are we gonna get? Ooh, cute, cute. They're just randomly popping into. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's really cool. The backdrop is different. It's like a modeling set. It's amazing. It's like an event venue. Must mean this is the ultimate cosplayer's lab. Oh, man. Okay. I'm curious as to what they've got. Okay, got a workshop. Sewing machine, work table, perhaps space for making or repairing costumes? Hmm. Needle. I don't recognize these. Oh, I wish I recognized costumes better. Giant studio. Ooh, filming set. It's another set for photo shoots. It has quite a gothic feel. 
like that, though. And then we've got set for photo shoots, huh? It's a bunch of backdrops here. It's an incredible setup. Yeah, it's like four different setups here. Then we've got a bar set. Hey. Whoa, black screen. <laughs> this looks like a bar. Is this set too? Well, what do you know? It's just like the real thing. This movie spoke cheerfully. She sat down at the table in front of the counter. Hey, Shuichi, are you thirsty? I can make you one of my signature cocktails if you'd like. A signature cocktail? Yeah, seems like all the drinks here are top quality stuff. I used to make them a lot at my part-time job. Don't worry, it'll be non-alcoholic, of course. Uh, okay, I'll take one. Aww. <gasps> Look how cute she is, though! Clink, clink. How would you like it? Maybe a little stronger? A little stronger, maybe? Uh, uh sure. Clink, clink. Wow, you're- Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Wow, you're really good at this, aren't you? Yeah, before I used- Before I got sponsors for my cosplaying, I worked a bunch of jobs. I used to say to my customers, I'm in a bit of a financial trouble. If only could someone could please help me out. I wish it worked that well. <laughs> I would not be in this trouble. What? What is this feeling? Suddenly I feel charitable. She's so cute. Dude, my hair is the perf- Can I? <laughs> I wonder if I could make myself look like that right now. Just the way, like, because my eyes are that color and my hair looks like that color. Oh, man, I bet I could do it. Clink, clink. Okay, it's ready. Thank you. What kind of part-time job is she? does she did she have anyway mixing drinks like this? I mean, so we're going to speak easy. <laughs> Those drinks swirling around in my head. I drank the drinks Samugi handed me. Please come again. Thank you. I'll be back. Did I, did I drink, did I drink actually an alcoholic beverage? I don't even know. Oh, jeez. Samugi, talk to me, girl. Um, even with all these materials and tools, if it's by myself? I see. Cosplaying is fun to do with others, right? There's no point in doing it by myself. Hey, Shuichi, do you want to give it a try? Come on, try cosplaying with me. Me? Yeah, I think it'll be plain fun to become fictional characters. To be a completely different person and completely feel like you're a part of a different world. Doesn't that sound interesting? Don't you want to live in a fictional world? Very fourth wall breaking and yes, yes I do. 100% agree. Uh, but I'm investigating right now. Then let's do it later. Let me know when you feel up to it. I have, I, I'll help you become your favorite character, whether it be from an anime, manga, or game. However, if you try to, if you got... If you're just trying it out, you gotta cosplay with love. Right. Girlfriend, I have a couple in mind. You wanna help me? Pretty please? I'm all for it. I think I looked at everything in here. Yeah, I looked at everything in here. Cool. Yes. Oh, that's so fun, though. That's so fun, though. Something I can actually, like, sink my teeth into and be like, hey, I actually understand the feeling. Big ol' monokumas with wings and devils. Devils. Alright, so nothing hidden. Yeah, so... The plan is, which I'll probably have already been doing by this time, is that I will be Twitch streaming uh, my Danganronpa extra shit. Uh, so, if it's if I haven't done it yet, you'll be able to find it. If I have done it yet... Oh, hi, Maki. Um, if I have done it yet, it'll be available on both Twitch and... It'll be available on my Twitch and my YouTube later on. So, cool. Hi, girl. What's happening? There's an angel statue and a demon statue next to the stairs. Don't chapels usually have these? Yeah. This place makes you feel like there's no god, but there's this. Is that a coincidence, or is Monokuma... Is that just Monokuma's sense of humor? That makes me curious, because that's... <laughs> a little blasphemous. There's a key. The door certainly matches the atmosphere of the floor. Doesn't look like it'll open. I suppose I'll have to leave it be for now. Probably be coming back in the next chapter. I can just almost 100% assume it. And there's nothing over here. It's too bad, like, you stand in front of here and there's no shadow. I know that's not the kind of game it is, but, like, ugh. Alright, and this is... Oh, is this... Also looks like an ultimate lab, but whose lab is it? 
Should check it out to be sure. I see. Is it my lab? It's my lab! <gasps> I have a lab. Oh, it's very Sherlock Holmesies. What is this? This looks like your research lab. Is that? It is, right? But what's in here? I'm getting a bad feeling from this place. A bad feeling? Here. <laughs> it's really creepy in here. I feel very sure I feel very Sherlock Holmesy in here though. The bookshelf. A bunch of, there's a bunch of files lined up. Looks like there's about fifty of them. What are these files for? Picked one up at random and flipped through it. Ah This contained photographs of murder scenes and the tricks culprit used. Culprits used. What is this? I hurried and looked through the others and I found that they were all similar. It's files containing all the tricks used for murders. It appears so. Did this incident really happen? I can't be sure, but the pictures of the scene... All of these cases seem feasible. Feasible, huh? Then this would make a good guideline for anyone who wants to commit a murder. Uh... Well... Doubt anyone's stupid enough, yeah. <laughs> Maki picked up a random file and started flipping through it. Huh? This file doesn't have any photographs, but it's all drawn- it's all drawn in illustrations, but... Illustrations? Maki began pulling files off the shelf- other shelf- one, one after another off the shelf. The newer files have photographs, but the older ones have illustrations? But why? These old ones are just- are, are these old ones just fictional? First files only have illustrations, but the others have photographs. Is there a reason for that? Ugh. I do not know. Alright, but anyways, we are going to cut the episode off here for now. So, don't worry about it for now. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this every other day. Touch you guys, alright? Bye-bye.